Sports science is playing an ever-expanding role in giving athletes the crucial edge in their pursuit of victory. At the IMG Academy in Florida, specially tailored programs are developed to encompass the whole range of the sports science sphere. Our goal with these athletes is to help them avoid injury and perform better, whether that's through becoming more aware about how much their training workloads are or benchmarking their performance and giving them tips and actionable feedback to improve. That's our goal in a nutshell. The pioneering MODIS lab puts a special emphasis on technological innovation in baseball training. Athletes undergo a series of tests using reflective markers placed around the body to create a 3D image of their actions when they step into the motion capture lab. We use the assessment for two things. One is the general motion assessment to monitor joint mobility and stability. And we also have them go through a full body pitching assessment like a, a bullpen session. So during there, we'll, we'll pick out all the flaws and strengths and weaknesses of their pitching delivery and give them feedback on what they need to do from whether it's a training perspective or work with the coaching staff here to work on drills they need to do to improve their mechanics. And then coming full circle, we're going to show how these athletes, how they can use the sleeve, the piece of wearable technology, to continue this experience during their entire season. So they'll be able to monitor their workloads and their performance outside of this lab to make sure they'll stay healthy and increase their performance. This fusion of work done in the lab with the reflectors and on the training field with the sleeve provides the most flexible conditions for athletic development. For Hansen, the technology is key to opening up a whole range of new possibilities. What you see today is our first step. It's our first go at cracking on-field technology. And we've done it with pitching mechanics and throwing motions. We're very geared up towards not only getting this technology in multiple sports, like batting, golf, tennis, and lacrosse, but also multiple sensors connected on the body. That's our goal is to build a digital athlete and a kind of a, a wired coach. Over at the Gatorade Sports Science Institute, the focus is on what an athlete puts into their body. We are about personalizing nutrition um, and personalizing fueling for that athlete. So we look at things um, such as body composition using our bod pod. We can look at an athlete's power and fatigue. We can look at their muscular strength because ultimately helping the athlete understand what his or her strengths and areas of opportunity all work together to help the athlete really improve their performance. I think the role of science is just going to continue to grow. There's more and more interest in it. Performance continues to get tighter and tighter between athletes and so you're going to need that edge um, and science is, is what's going to help the athletes understand where they can get it. This attention to marginal gains is further illustrated by the work done over at the Academy's Mind Gym, where budding young footballers undergo vision training to maximize their alertness and seize the slightest of advantages over their opponents. There are a lot of exercises that can train the brain in many different ways, whether it's just on a, an iPad or an iPhone, but what we prefer is in our Mind Gym room, we have a lot of multi-sensory exercises that are more practical, that really stress that doing the motor reaction speed. And so we have a lot of different athletes that go around the room and do a bunch of several exercises. We have found that these exercises can improve reaction speed, for example. One of our great exercises is the Dyna Board. It's an eye-hand coordination slash peripheral awareness exercise. When our athletes normally come in, they for 30 seconds they're trying to hit a, a number of lights as fast as they can. Average times range from 30 to 40, which is about an average reaction time of a second to about 0.8 of a second. When we train athletes, they can go down as far as 0.4. So you think about being twice as fast in terms of how you see the light, how you process where it is, and being able to react to it. And of course, when you're thinking that fast and reacting that fast, most likely you're reacting a lot faster than the opponents around you. And that's where the draw is really for a lot of our football players. As advances are continually made in the various strands of sports science, one common thread is evident. Athletes are increasingly embracing new ideas and technology in order to gain the vital edge that converts defeat into success. The overall philosophy within the Mind Gym is the small things lead to the big things. So being able to practice where to look, to practice what to see, enhance that peripheral awareness will help you deal with a, a range of different visual and mental things that happen in a match and so we, we really try and stress very finite details so that when an athlete is under pressure and they're out on the field they can make those decisions more readily if it's fine-tuned and practiced over and over again.
Thank you very much, gentlemen. That's it for today. I'm going to share.